Let's go over the upper body neurological examination. What we're going to start out with is just a general observation or inspection of the patient. So we've got Lindsay here. So I'm just going to look at your general posture. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's any visible scarring or any uh, muscle atrophy or wasting. Okay, now I'm going to have you stick your arms out in front of you like this and then turn them over and keep your fingers spread apart. Okay, good. Eyes closed. Perfect. As Lindsay's doing this, what I'm looking for is any uh, involuntary movements, uh, maybe some fasciculations or any tremors in her hands or any of the upper extremity. Okay, good. Now keeping the eyes closed, what I want you to do is turn your palms face up. Okay, good. We're going to hold that position now. And what I'm looking for here is a pronator drift, which would be indicative of a possible upper motor neuron lesion or a pyramidal uh, neuropathy or pathology of some sort. Okay, good. And you can bring the arms down and relax. Next, we'll be looking at muscle tone. So, Lindsay, I just want you to relax your arms, and I'm going to guide them through different ranges of motion, okay? So, I'm going to go back and forth. Good. Okay, up and down. Good. Okay. I'm going to check the wrist here. And what I'm looking for is any cogwheeling or rigidity, which might be indicative of Parkinson's disease, for example. Okay, good. Now let me try the other side. So same thing here. So just relax the arm. Go back and forth. Good. Yep. Up and down. Okay. I'm going to check the wrist again. Good. And then just a little bit this way. Perfect. Okay, good. And that's checking muscle tone.